Hello everyone and welcome back to All the Crazy Things, my Stock Science Mode Adventures in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. And in the previous video we got a little bit of science from the surface of the moon. And so I'm going to spend it on specialized construction to get the docking ports. And I'm also going to get RCS ports so that we can dock with, with the docking ports. So now we have enough to start out our stations because I had previously unlocked the science lab and also the hitchhiker storage container. So I'm going to put some stations together. I think I'll send one to Minmus first, actually, uh, so that we can start harvesting science from Minmus, I suppose. And ultimately, probably Minmus is the most lucrative place to get uh, ISRU support. The best place to do drilling, though. It seems like the concentrations are better on the moon right now. I'm not sure why the top of the hitchhiker storage container and the bottom of it looks sort of like cork. Uh, you know, like it's sort of heat shield materials or a trampoline, I don't know why. I don't know what it's made out of there, but it's weird. Anyway, we've got a control unit under there, the octo, and then some batteries, and then the docking port. I, th I can also put an adapter here that'll hide the corkish look. I think we unlocked something. Yeah, this Rockamax brand adapter will do. And, um, well, let's just put the science lab. It's not like we have to pay for it or anything. Uh, so, that is good. The little... Oh! <gasps> it disappeared. Why did it do that? Uh-oh. I've seen such things before. Okay, undoing did not help. Okay. That's spooky. Don't save. Don't save. Uh-oh. There's a glitch! No! Okay. Um, new? Don't save. Okay, new works. Maybe. Really, the only thing in the, that can stop me now is glitches, right? <laughs> that's, that's it. Maybe I just accidentally got rid of everything, but then undoing. I did control Z for undoing and... Maybe we should pack a lander with it too. <gasps> okay, it seems like moving the science lab like that makes it all disappear. So I discovered that the hitchhiker storage container is the part that is buggy and making things disappear, so I've left it off. And, well, we'll see about that. I really would like to use it, but if it's gonna do stuff like that, I don't know. But we'll just have the science lab, the mobile processing lab, and I've got a bunch of docking ports, RCS, and even lights. I put lights and, of course, solar panels over here. And, you know, I'm, I'm including all of this, the body of the rocket, as I normally do for my stations. It's all included. And, yeah, we are going to try to build it that way. But other stations, once we get the big docking ports, other stations will look quite different. But this first one will be like this, and it has a reaction wheel docking port up front, and that's it. It'll all go there except for the boosters. So with the skipper engine, that should work out just fine for us. Well, as long as we're in vacuum at that point, it'll be okay. So let's see if I'm wrong about that. Station 1, around Minmus. Alright, well, I'll figure out the transfer to Minmus afterwards, so I'm not going to figure out a particular inclination to go to right now. And we'll just go. So SAS on, Thrall is up, and launch. Okay, the skipper and its two boosters. Whoa, okay, a little bit of transonic drag there and wobbliness. Okay, booster set. Very good. Still haven't got separatrons yet, I think. We don't have RCS ports on this. We'll rely on everything approaching it to figure out how to dock. This is the station, after all. Eventually, uh, once we can send a Kerbal to do so, we might take the engine off, maybe even bring the engine back in the bay of something. 
you don't really need an engine like that on it and then maybe replace that spot with a big docking port it turns out that it is possible with the engineers and all I forget if they can move something that big like the engine I always mix up the rules with the Kerbal inventory system rules so alright fairing set after this, I suppose we should get a vehicle that can bring stuff up, but we haven't got drilling units yet. Well, we'll start with a uh, science lander. A kerbled science lander. Alright, orbit achieved. And let's go to Minmus. Well, the offplane transfer opportunities aren't great, actually. Um, that's too close and that's going to take forever. So I'll do a mid-course correction to correct the inclination. Generally speaking, it's better to do an actual mid-course correction. Let's see if that's the case. With a uh, direct change of inclination at the descending node, this maneuver here to get that is 137. If instead we put it out here, but then we get an encounter, and it's only 37. So you see, if the ascending or descending node is too close, then it's better to do a pure mid-course correction than to go with that. So really put it mid-course. Don't do it at the ascending or descending node. All right, interesting looking ship. Not the best looking ship. We'll get better ones. Okay. Well, this has got to be a station. We want it in a nice place. But equatorial is fine, probably. And I don't mind prograde either. That's fine. Okay. That's how we'll approach it. So, 38 meters per second. Up we go. Burn time one second, huh? Um, okay, let's be low throttle then. Maybe a little bit more. Oh, okay. That's fine. Let's go. Could have done with more electric charge, really. We should add a power module to this. Okay, periapsis is facing Kerbin. All right. Well, now to send over the Minmus Science Exploitation Unit. In the process of unlocking the RCS ports, I also got the Mark 1 lander can. Some baguettes will do the trick. Vacuum 0.07 is still pushing it. I mean, when you take a look at Minmus, that gives us 1.32. I think that's a little bit too tight. Maybe 2 amps. That could be torture, though. Efficient, but look at the burn time. So, I think we'll just go with the spark. Bit OP for Minmus, but we can manage. 3,000 should get us plenty of places on Minmus. I don't really need a ladder. But I guess some rungs will be a good idea. And the science. We'll just put it next to the door. And then a goo on the back. I'm not sending everything. And then lots more power. We also need RCS to dock. Well, this already has some. 15 will do the trick. We can refuel it at the station. So the main thing is just the ports. I'll just take the traditional ones. These, well, the smaller ones will be more efficient, though. I think to make sure they're not blowing at anything, I'll put them in this symmetry and in pairs. But I don't want to put an extra set, so I'll put it, put them lower. Well, seems like they'll cover things. I mean, the reaction wheel is there too. This. Probably too much solar panelry. 
Yeah, we could do with just two of those. Now, another awkward fairing time. Because I don't think we need that much rocket to send it over. This doesn't need that much booster, but it would look better with boosters. So... Plenty of initial thrust weight ratio, maybe a little bit too much. So maybe like that will be good. And total delta V. Well, there's lots. There's lots of total delta V. Probably more than I need. Okay. Well, Minmus Science Lander. Minmus. Okay. And I'll auto strut the boosters. And we will send... we don't have a controller on here. But we do need to send a scientist eventually. But we don't need to send a scientist this time yet. Hmm. We'll send Samri, who hasn't done anything yet. And we'll worry about exactly how to deal with the science later. We'll send a separate module for the station so that we can uh, send the scientists over. We need more pods. Maybe this command pod will do. That'll be the escape pod for the station or something. Obviously this can't bring the Kerbal back, so we need some way of bringing them back in theory. Though I'm mostly planning to leave them be. The problem with using that Mark II command pod as our return pod is it's not got the best way to mount the Clampatron because it's got thin nose so that's there's no place to put the Clampatron anyway SAS on thrall is up and we'll just do it the way I did the thing last time I'll wait until we're in orbit to figure out the transfer so go didn't put any fins on I'm trusting the Bobcat here mountain range in the back that's the speed of sound and booster set close close but they didn't kill us this time Samri would be in the right state if we had had problems right there we don't have parachutes on this thing need to have to parachute out this doesn't have independent comms back to send any signs we'll have to send it through the station well let me just get rid of the big fairing some heating like that we'll dump the stage in the atmosphere we've got the terrier stage next Okay, yeah, let's just dump this. And we're in orbit. The transfer situation this time, not too bad. We can probably just do an off-plane transfer. Alright, I'll take that 239 kilometers for now. So, that is our transfer out. And we'll probably land before trying to rendezvous with the station. We'll get the science first. First landing on Minmus. In this save, obviously. And go. Okay, well, we've got something going on over there. I'll just correct it once we get there. Out to Minmus. Okay, well, here's our current Minmus approach, and I'll do a real burn to bring it closer. And we'll capture at this inclination. It'll give us plenty of landing spot possibilities. We can worry about the rendezvous inclination once we take off again. We'll use this stage for our first descent, but we'll crash into the surface. 
We could have docked it to the station and transferred the fuel, but it's probably not worth it. Well, let's just land over here, if it's still around. That Minmus does rotate pretty quickly. Now we don't have any comms. Okay, one oh, in daylight. All right, we'll land straight in this one, I think. And start there, and then go eastward. So, coming in like that, I hope this one is different from that one. Get how the biomes work exactly. Scrumptious minty minmus here. Maybe I should land over here and try and get slopes or something. And again, having the Kerbal walk to the slopes is best. Okay, so maybe right around here-ish. If that slopes. Alright, that's all I'm going to use that stage. Off that goes. Okay. Here we go, saying down on Minmus for the first time in the save. Very gently. Okay, we are down. So, crew report. That we get full, uh, full science from just by transmitting, so I'm just gonna... No, oh, we can't. Okay. Yeah, okay, fine. The old, okay, we kept that. All right. Keep that. Keep that. All right, EBA time. Cheating to take the surface sample from up here. Lesser flats. Well, that sounds like the other one next door is probably gonna also be a lesser flat. I'll put a flag in. I didn't do that for the moon landing yet though. Samri at the lesser flats. Not false. Flats. Um, first. <laughs> Alright. Okay, um, probably use the jetpack since jumping is OP on Minmus. Okay, plenty more Delta V here, so let's see if Samory can get over there. I've killed a Kerbal on high-speed EVAs like this before. I think it was Val, actually. So, must be cautious. Smacking them into the surface at 60 meters per second is not a good thing. Okay, land already. Alright, nice soft landing. Anything new around here? Lowlands. Well, it's definitely new. Not getting the thermometer and barometer reading, but we're getting plenty of value. Wow, did we really go 2.5 kilometers? That's impressive. Okay. Uh, but wait, wait. Like, can we get slopes or something? Or is it just lowlands? Oh, uh, we can't take a new EV report anyway. Take surface sample. Yeah, okay. We can't take anything new. We have to go back. I'll just accept the lowlands. Okay, don't break any solar panels, please. Okay, board. Alright, we'll take that. Let's go to a different biome by actually traveling. I, I don't know. That's probably lesser flats as well. Let's try up here for highlands. So we're going west. Alright, that should do the trick. Well, let's just sort of stop over this area. Maybe these would count as slopes. They're slopey. We can get... Uh, without the contracts, can we get extra signs for those peculiar rocks? I don't even know that. 
or are those just generated when you get those contracts? Be hard to find them in the midst of all this though. It looked a lot flatter before. <laughs> it looks all tilted, the terrain. Okay, we have set down. Oh, it's still Lowlands. But we didn't do thermometer reading at Lowlands, but this seemed, this seemed pretty high up for to be Lowlands. We've got huge slopes there. This is low? Weird. Yep. Um, let me see if nearby that slopes. Now, to be honest, I get bored with Mimis Sands exploitation, so even though we have a lot of Delta V, I'm probably not gonna try and hop through everything. This seems dangerous, though, this slope. Definitely want to land softly here. Okay, Samri, don't tumble. It's a serious slope. I hope it is actually slopes. Alright, good job. It is slopes. Okay, 150, EV report, 40. Definitely not got to land a lander right here. Alright, we've got what we're going to get from slopes, or at least these slopes. If they're milder slopes, that's a different thing. Okay, where did I put my lander? Okay, seriously though. Um, it's over here somewhere. Somewhere in the rocks. <laughs> okay, maybe on the map we can find it. Set us target. There it is. Jeez. And you know, the Kerbals should only have one flag. It uh, Give me an option to plant a flag again. They should only come with one flag. How many of those do you think they pack with them? So you can plant a flag one. I mean, well, we already did one before. Maybe it's every time you pop out, you've got. They always carry your flag with them. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, we have still got two thousand meters per second left. We could probably go to every biome around here. Uh, let me dock to the station. That's what I want to do right now. It's right overhead, but pretty far south. So. We'll wait until we intersect it, presumably over here somewhere. Let us go SAS on, orbital speed, and up. Off we go. Oh, we already passed. Ah, too much. Mm, some radio will close those orange together. Orbital shenanigans. Right about there. 2.6. Pretty good. One point three. I'll take it. So we're coming in like that. Samri has done his thing. He'll probably do more. Alright, there it is coming in. Great, and that'd be nighttime, but we have lights on the station. Not particularly bright right now. Should just have angled them directly at the station or something. Okay, slow. Time for the RCS. I mean, I could dock at the end, but we've got this port right here. And that's one that should have some light sh being shown on it, but I'm not sure. Okay, well I'm not gonna do the lazy way. I'm not gonna try and turn the station or anything. 
This is the first docking in this series, right? Yeah, not the best angled lights ever. Not the best angled docking right now, but I think the magnetism will do it. And I've got to get a feel again for how strong the magnetism is around here. It's a bad angle for realism overhaul, but I think it's a good enough angle for here. Is that right? Seems that way. A little bit rough. Okay, so about the mobile processing lab. <laughs> Let's see, start research? We can't do that. We can transfer science though, right? Review stored data. Well, I guess we can't send it in without the scientists here. We can transmit the ones I had wanted to transmit, so I'm gonna do that. Just transmitting the ones that we get full science for. The others we're gonna keep, and next time I'm going to send some Kerbals here. Some additional Kerbals here. Some scientists. We have a lot of scientists because they had interesting funny names. So I picked up a lot of scientists. We might as well make use of them. So, this being our little station around Minmus, due for expansion, I'm going to leave it here, and next time we'll send those scientists and really get the science going here. But for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.